Breaking News, Nigerians, President Bola Tinibu and his vice, Kasim Shetima, receives heartbreaking news as they are told to resign immediately so that Apabio can conduct a fresh election. My country people, it's happening. President Bola Tinibu and his vice, Kasim Shetima, should resign according to a strong statement released by Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed, the Labour Party's presidential, uh, you know, running mate. Baba Ahmed on the line that, in light of Tinibu and Shetima's resignation, the Senate President Goswila Pabio must preside over a new presidential election. In an exclusive um, interview with Arise Television, Baba Ahmed made this demand in response to questions about the prospect of working with Tinibu's administration. Baba Ahmed answered with emotion. The frequent belief of Baba, Baba Ahmed was that Tinibu and Shetima's accent to power following the 2023 presidential election was tinted by dishonest means. As such, he declared that the Labour Party will not cooperate with a government that he believes to be inauthentic. Now, is it possible for Tinibu and Shetima to just step down and allow the Senate president to hold new elections? Well, my country people, this is it. Baba Ahmed has said they cannot cooperate with illegal government. They are not ready to do so. Following the uh, presidential candidate, the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi, uh, press presentation, Baba Ahmed took his own stand. When Obi expressed grave worries during the conference over the Supreme Court's decision, and the Independent National Electoral Commission's INEC ability to handle election-related issues. These worries highlight the growing unease about the integrity of the voting process that exists in the political scene. Many Nigerians have voiced out displeasure about uh, the status of events in this country. And Baba Ahmed's demand that the current government leave is in line with their views. It is his request for the Senate President, Goswila Lapavio, to oversee a new election, uh, a new and a transparent presidential election, spikes a chord with the people who want a just and accountable political system. An increasing number of Nigerians are calling for the resignation of the Vice President Kasim Shetima and President Bolad Metinibu, citing their inability to preserve democratic values and constitutional norms. The Labour Party's um, dedication to maintaining the integrity of the democratic process is demonstrated by Baba Ahmed's unwavering position against working with what he views as an illegitimate government. And it is unclear how the political climate will change and whether, Bola, uh, whether Baba Ahmed's demand for a new presidential election will be accepted by the Nigerian people. As the country watches these events play out, there is no delay that his cause, there is no denying that his cause for openness and loyalty to constitutional values have resounded have resonated with a large number of people underscoring the urgent need for Nigeria to have an equitable and a just democratic process. But then Baba Ahmed has made it known that uh, he knows that Pito B won the election. Yes, that uh, Tinibu has been playing God for a long time. I mean, it is time for normal people to step up and put him in his place. Yes, the vice presidential candidate made it known. He said Tinibu hasn't, till date, delivered any of his campaign promises. He even lamented that the Tinibu's administration has not even taken bold steps 
to shut down the ivy and also to use misapplied force on the weak Nigerians, a Nigerian institution. So my country people, Baba Ahmed has insisted that when Nigerians finally wake up and decide to take over their country, everything will become possible. It seems that Tinibu has played God for such a long time. So it is time for, more, uh, for mortals like Kobe and himself to put him in his place. Baba Ahmed said that Tinibu has delivered nothing. He is, in fact, he has delivered nothing. He hasn't moved Nigeria from consumption to a production nation. He hasn't done any of that. And the killings has not stopped. They've not stopped killing people. For someone who has been playing God for a very long time, he even said that it was Obi that won the elections. It was the Labour Party that won the elections. But he knows that this government is an illegal government. A government that is not wanted by the people, for the people, and with the people. So my country people, um, Akim Baba Ahmed has really made a strong statement regarding Tinibu's um, emergence as the president of this country. Also with uh, uh, Kasim Shetima. But then we have his running mates, um, that's a Baba Akim Ahmed, the Labour Party vice presidential candidate who has always stood on his ground and has been a strong, uh, you know, supporter of the Labour Party. And Peter B has always made it known that the APC never won the election, but the PDP, uh, but the Labour Party. And we have the PDP also claiming that they won the election, but the both parties have been dragging the won the election until the Supreme Court gave its final verdict and declared the authentic winner of the elections and then the APC came out victorious. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? The cause for a re-election, the cause for a conduct of a fresh elections has not did not start today. It started ever since um the INEC chairman Mahmoud Yakubu on March 1st declared the election results. That was how people started requesting for a re-election because it seems that the, 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 the people they voted for never emerged victorious and a lot of people had said that this 2023 general election is so far the worst in the history of Nigeria. I'm dropping here guys. Kindly